Hello everyone, my name is Jagdish Atore and in this video, we will discuss about one more failure theory that is the maximum shear stress theory. In the last video, we discussed about the maximum normal stress theory or the maximum principal stress theory, which is also known as Rankine's theory. If you haven't watched that video, you can watch that from the link provided in the description. And in this video, we will discuss about the maximum shear stress theory, which is also referred as guest stress class theory. Do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss any new learning videos from the design gigs. The maximum shear stress theory is the oldest failure theory originally proposed by great French scientist C. A. Coulomb. The French engineer Henry Tesca modified it and JJ Guest validated by experiments. For this reason, the maximum shear stress theory is also called as Coulomb's Guest Tresca theory. According to this theory, when a component is subjected to biaxial or triaxial state of stress, its failure occurs when the maximum shear stress at any point in the component reaches the maximum shear stress in the standard specimen in a simple tension test when the yielding begins. In short, we can see that the failure will occur when the maximum shear stress exceeds the shear stress at uniaxial loading. That means the failure occurs if the maximum shear stress in a biaxial or triaxial that is tau max greater than or equal to uniaxial shear stress. That is tau max greater than or equal to tau uniaxial. So we know the maximum shear stress at yielding for the uniaxial test tau max greater than or equal to tau uniaxial where this tau uniaxial is equal to sigma y by 2 that is the yield stress divided by 2. Putting this value in above equation we will get tau max is greater than or equal to sigma y by 2. So this is the failure condition for uniaxial stress state and for triaxial loading it can be written as tau max is equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 2 divided by 2 comma sigma 2 minus sigma 3 divided by 2 comma sigma 1 minus sigma 3 divided by 2 greater than or equal to sigma y by 2. Then according to the maximum shear stress theory for failure conditions we can write it like sigma 1 minus sigma 2 divided by 2 greater than or equal to sigma y by 2. So cancelling the 2 from both the sides which gives sigma 1 minus sigma 2 greater than yield stress. Similarly we will get sigma 2 minus sigma 3 greater than or equal to sigma y and sigma 1 minus sigma 3 greater than or equal to sigma y that is yield stress. So the sigma 1, sigma 2 and sigma 3 can be written in terms of x, y, z as sigma x, sigma y and sigma z also. For a biaxial state of stress or biaxial loading condition, one of the principal stress is 0. That is here let's assume the sigma 3 is equal to 0. Then the maximum shear stress under this biaxial condition will be tau max is equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 2 divided by 2 comma sigma 2 by 2 comma sigma 1 by 2 greater than or equal to yield stress divided by 2 as we are putting the sigma 3 is equal to 0 in this equation. According to the maximum shear stress theory for failure condition we can write it like sigma 1 minus sigma 2 divided by 2 greater than or equal to sigma y by 2 which gives sigma 1 minus sigma 2 greater than or equal to sigma y after cancelling the 2 from both the side. Similarly, sigma 2 greater than or equal to sigma y and therefore sigma 1 greater than or equal to sigma y. Now, the reason for the safety for this equation for the tensile conditions or the boundaries of the region of safety are sigma 1 minus sigma 2 is equal to sigma y, sigma 2 is equal to sigma y and sigma 1 is equal to sigma y. And for compressive condition, the boundaries are sigma 1 minus sigma 2 is equal to minus sigma y and sigma 1 is equal to minus sigma y. From these equations, the yield surface can be plotted on the failure envelope will be like this. So according to this maximum shear stress theory, if you consider the point in this region and if you use the coordinate of that point to design the component, then the component will not fail or it will be considered as a safe design. And if the point lies outside this region of safety and if that point coordinates are used for the designing the size of the component then the component will not be considered as a safe it will fail now the condition for maximum shear stress failure in a biaxial loading is sigma 1 minus sigma 2 greater than sigma y that is the yield stress so consider this as equation 1 where 
sigma 1 and sigma 2 are the principal stresses which are given by sigma 1 is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus under root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 bracket square plus tau x y square and sigma 2 is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 minus under root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 bracket square plus tau x y square. These are the values of principal stresses that sigma 1 and sigma 2. So by substituting this value in the equation number 1, we will get sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus under root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 bracket square plus tau x y square. This is the value of sigma 1 minus sigma x plus sigma y by 2 minus under root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 bracket square plus tau x y square. This is the value of sigma 2 is equal to sigma y. Now subtracting the sigma x plus sigma y by 2 from both the sides which gives 2 into under root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 bracket square plus tau x y square is equal to sigma y that is the yield stress. Finally, we will get equation of maximum shear stress for biaxial stress condition. Now let's discuss the condition of safe design. So the condition for the safe design according to the maximum shear stress theory is the maximum shear stress should be less than or equal to the permissible shear stress where this permissible shear stress is equal to the yield strength in a shear at yield point in a tension test divided by the factor of safety. The shear stress at yield point in a simple tension test is equal to one half of the yield stress in a tension. That's why this tau permissible or permissible shear stress is equal to sigma yt divided by 2 into factor of safety. Therefore, tau max will be tau max less than or equal to sigma yt divided by 2 into factor of safety. For triaxial case or triaxial state of stress, it will be maximum of sigma 1 minus sigma 2 divided by 2 comma sigma 2 minus sigma 3 divided by 2 comma sigma 1 minus sigma 3 divided by 2 it should be less than or equal to sigma yt divided by 2 into factor of safety. Cancelling 2 from both the sides, we will get maximum of sigma 1 minus sigma 2 comma sigma 2 minus sigma 3 comma sigma 1 minus sigma 3 less than or equal to sigma yt divided by factor of safety. For biaxial state of stress, sigma 3 is equal to 0. So this equation becomes sigma 1 minus sigma 2 divided by 2 comma sigma 2 minus sigma 3 divided by 2 comma sigma 1 minus sigma 3 divided by 2 less than sigma yt divided by 2 into factor of safety. So this becomes after putting the sigma 3 is equal to 0, it becomes sigma 1 minus sigma 2 divided by 2 comma sigma 2 divided by 2 comma sigma 1 divided by 2 less than sigma yt divided by 2 into factor of safety or sigma 1 minus sigma 2 divided by 2 less than sigma yt divided by 2 into factor of safety and Sigma 2 divided by 2 less than equal to sigma yt divided by 2 into factor of safety and sigma 1 divided by 2 less than sigma yt divided by 2 into factor of safety. So this gives sigma 1 minus sigma 2 less than or equal to sigma yt divided by factor of safety cancelling the two from both the sides sigma 2 less than equal to sigma yt divided by factor of safety and sigma 1 less than equal to sigma yt divided by factor of safety. So let's solve one numerical for this theory. So the question is loading on the object has the value of sigma x as equal to 120 megapascal sigma y is equal to 60 megapascal and tau xy is equal to 30 megapascal. While the yielding strength of the material is 300 megapascal, find the factor of safety by using the maximum shear stress theory. So we have given as sigma x is equal to 120 megapascal, sigma y is equal to 60 megapascal and tau xy is equal to 30 megapascal and sigma yt that is the yield stress is given as 300 megapascal. Now by using the formula of this maximum shear stress theory for biaxial loading, sigma y is equal to under root of sigma x minus sigma y bracket square plus tau x y square. Now by substituting the given value, we will get sigma y is equal to under root of 120 minus 60 bracket square plus 4 into 30 square. That gives sigma y is equal to 84.85 megapascal. Now the factor of safety can be found out according to this maximum shear stress theory by the equation sigma y is equal to sigma yt divided by factor of safety which gives factor of safety is equal to sigma yt that is yield strength divided by sigma y substituting the value we will get 300 divided by 84.85 that gives the factor of safety as 3.53 now this theory gives satisfactory result for the ductile materials and the key to this theory is that the materials will only deform it will not break 
So this is about the maximum shear stress theory. Stay tuned with the design gigs for more learning videos. Thank you.